Good morning students. Welcome to our next lecture of data structures and algorithm. In our today's lecture we will study about insertion sort. In previous lecture we studied what is the meaning of sorting and we also studied about the bubble sort that how we can apply bubble sort technique to sort the elements in the given array. In today's lecture we will apply the insertion sort technique. Insertion sort inserts each element in proper place. In this type of sorting each element will be inserted in its proper place by comparing with the other elements of the array. So let's understand the working of insertion sort with an example. We are given an array of five elements and these five elements are as we can see unsorted. Unsorted means they are not in proper order. That means neither in increasing form nor in decreasing form. So we have to sort this array in increasing form. That means smallest element at the leftmost position and largest element at the rightmost position in this array. For solving this or we can say that for applying insertion sort what we will do we will assume that first element that is A0 our first element the first element of this array A0 is already sorted. For applying insertion sort we are assuming in pass 1 pass are we can say that the steps of the algorithm. So in pass 1 we are assuming that the first element that is the element located at A0 location is already sorted. So 7 is the first element which we are assuming that it is already sorted. Now in second step that is in pass 2 what we will do we will compare the second element. The second element means the element located at A1 po position, A1 location in this array. We will compare the element located at A1 location with the element, with the first element that is element at location A0. So in pass 2 our second element is 3 located at location a1 in the given array. The second element is 3. Now what we will do? We will compare this second element with the first element that is 7. We are taking a temporary variable. Okay. We will be taking a temporary variable means te this temporary variable is the element which we will be using in different different passes to compare with the previous element which we have sorted. So here our second element is 3. So we are taking 3 as temporary variable and we will compare this temporary variable with the first element of the array. So we will compare the temporary variable with the element at location A0. That means 3 is less than 7 because our temporary variable is 3 and we are comparing it with the first element 7. So 3 is less than 7, yes the condition is true, 3 is less than 7. Then what we will do, we will interchange the position of both the elements and set the value of A1 as 7 and A0 as 3. Because 3 is less than 7, so we will, ins we will interchange the position of both the elements and the new list of elements will be 3, 7, 4, 1, 8. Now the element at A0 location is 3, A1 is 7, at A2 is 4, at A3 is 1 and at A4 is 8. So now this is the new list after pass 2. In pass 3 what we will do? We will take the third element of the array. 
the third element of the array the third element at location a2 the third element is 4 now what we will do we will compare 4 that is 4 will be our new temporary variable we will compare 4 with the previously both elements that is 3 and 7 so we will compare the element 4 with 3 and then 7 so let temporary variable here is 4 now we will compare temporary variable with 7 now 4 is less than 7 yes the condition is true then what we will do we will interchange the position of both the elements that is 7 and 4 at in place of 7 4 will be inserted and in place of 4 7 will be inserted similarly we will compare the value 4 with the element at a0 location so 4 is less than 3 no 4 is greater than 3 that means there is no need to interchange the position of both the elements so our new list after interchanging the positions our new list will be 3 4 7 1 and 8 now in pass 4 what we will do we will take the fourth element fourth element of the array fourth element of the array is 1 because till now we have taken till third element of the array now we will take the fourth element that is 1 and it is compared with the previously three sorted elements. Now 1 is the element the temporary variable which we will be comparing first with 7 then 4 and then 3. So here temporary variable is 1. Now what we will do we will compare 1 with 7 yes 1 is less than 7 then what we will do we will interchange the position of 7 and 1 then we will compare 1 with 4 yes 1 is less than 4 then what we will do we will interchange the position of 1 and 4 similarly then we will compare 1 with the first element that is the 3 1 is less than 3 yes the condition is true we will interchange the position of 1 and 3 and 1 will be inserted in its proper place that is a0 location the new list after comparing and interchanging the position of all the elements our new list will be 1 3 4 7 and 8 now till now we have taken till fourth element now our last element that is 8 will be taken so our temporary variable will be 8 and we will be comparing this temporary variable 8 with all the previously sorted elements so first of all we will compare temporary variable 8 with 7 8 is less than 7 no 8 is greater than 7 so there is no need to interchange the position of 7 and 8 similarly we will compare 8 with 4 8 is less than 4 no that means there is no need to interchange the position of both the elements similarly 8 will be compared with 3 yes 8 is greater than 3 that means 8 is not less than 3 so there is no need to interchange the position of 8 and 3 and then we will compare 8 with 1 8 is less than 1 no that means no need to interchange the position of 8 and 1 from all the comparisons we came to know that 8 is already in its proper place that means when when we have not interchanged any of the positions of the element it shows that 8 is already in its proper place 8 is already sorted and our new list after pass 5 will be 1 3 4 7 and 8 and this array this list is the final sorted list so this is the final sorted list with the smallest element at first place and largest element at the last place. So this is the sorted array. Now the point that we should always keep in mind is for an n array of elements for an array of n elements suppose that we have we have an array of n elements then we will be having n passes in insertion sort 
for example in this example we are having five elements so for five elements we have five passes or five steps of the algorithm to sort the given array so always keep this point in mind always remember this this is one of the most important conditions of insertion sort so insertion sort we firstly assume that the first element is already sorted in the array then in second pass we took the second element and compared with the first element if the uh, first element is greater than the second element then we interchange the positions of both the elements then in pass 3 we took the second uh, third element and compared with the element at location 1 0 and location 1 similarly in pass 4 we took the fourth element and in pass 5 we took the fifth element and compared with all already sorted already previously sorted elements and the elements uh, less than the temporary variable interchange their positions and at last we got the final sorted list so this was all about insertion sort i hope you all have understood that how we can apply insertion sort technique thank you very much